In this demo, I'm going to show you how to set the transparency for a layer within a viewport. This allows you to adjust the way a layer appears on one sheet without affecting another sheet. For example, this maybe, maybe will come in handy if you're doing an electrical plan and you'd like your furniture to show up on the electrical plan, but you want it to really kind of fade into the background and be kind of grayed out so that it doesn't overwhelm the electrical information. What you want to do is you want to come into your uh, paper space, whoops, as I zoom, um, come into paper space, and we're going to click into the viewport to make it current. So I'm going to double click in here and go into layer properties. Now I've got three different floor plans here, and I'm only going to set the transparency for one so that we can see the difference. So I'm going to go into my layer properties and I'm going to look for my A Fern 10 1 and I'm going to come over here to the column labeled VP transparency and right now you can see it's set to zero so it's not transparent at all. I'm going to adjust this uh, level to, I'm going to say 70. So um, it's looking for percent transparent. So if I set it to a lower number, like 20%, it will be less transparent. If I set it to a higher number, like 70%, it will be more transparent. So let me click OK. And I'm going to close my layer properties here and click out of my viewport. Now I've got um, the furniture over here is set to be transparent and you can already see visually that there's a difference between the furniture that are in the other two plans and the furniture that's in this plan. So what I want to do now, I'm going to go ahead and plot it and see how this looks. So I'm going to hit uh, plot and I want to use the uh, printer that is uh, called DWG to PDF. This is kind of the built-in PDF creator in AutoCAD. So it works the best with some of these features, especially like transparencies. So I'm going to click on that. Now I want to go over here to where it says plot options. And I need to check this box that said plot transparency because otherwise it, it's not going to show up when I plot. So I'm going to click on this and I'm going to do a preview. And you can see uh, that there's a difference between the furniture on this side and the furniture over here. I'm going to go ahead and create the plot and I'm going to put it on my desktop. I'm going to replace that one. And then I am going to zoom in here a little bit so we can see. Now you can see this is the furniture that's been made transparent and it's plotting much lighter than the furniture that's not. Um, I'm also going to zoom in here where I've put in just a couple of electrical locations so that you can see how the, uh, the electrical symbols that are plotted at um, full strength and are the, the black lines, they really pop out against the furniture information. The furniture is still there and you can see it and it's a good reference for where you might put electrical locations, but it's much easier to see the information that's the most pertinent to this plan, which is the electrical. So that's all there is to it. Um, give it a try and uh, hopefully it works well.